what are the implementations of the uh, of the UFI? So, so um, UFI itself is uh, just a specification, and it has multiple implementations. Although uh, not many are very popular, um, or maybe not many uh, are open source and popular. Uh, the most popular is EDK2, which is reference implementation, and is usually a, a base for any other custom implementation. Um, even the proprietary one. EDK2 can uh, build from uh, for many targets. There is a QEMU target, which um, which uh, gives us ability to um, use it in the virtual machine environment. So the QEMU target is um, is called Open Virtual Machine Firmware of EMF, and we will use it during this uh, this course. Um, but uh, but in case of um, building usable uh, firmware from EDK2, we need some additional firmware components, sometimes even binary objects um, from the silicon vendor. There are also some, there are also some co commercial implementations like um, Insight, Insight H2O or um, AMI Aptio, uh, but those re require additional licenses and, uh, and agreements with, with those vendors. It is also possible to build um, UFI compatible firmware by combining core boot and some part of EDK2, which is called Tiano Core Payload. Um, and we will talk about that also um, later in, in, the, in, the, in this lecture. There is also uh, implementation called Slim Boot Loader. Um, there are some claims that this is um, open source boot firmware, which is uh, something different and, and uh, distinguishable from EDK2, but essentially it uses minimal su subset of EDK2 to create a very um, simple, very fast booting, um, minimal, uh, minimal firmware. And the tooling, uh, the tooling is the same as in, in EDK2 and the code base is exactly the same. The syntax of the code base is, is exactly the same. So this is essentially a smaller version of the EDK2, but with support for um, for already some target platforms. So like uh, Intel um, customer reference boards. Um, what what are the other implementations? So there is an implementation called Yabits, uh, yet another um, UFI implementation. Um, this is Minoka OS based minimal UFI implementation, which you can find on the um, on on GitHub. Uh, it can be used as a core boot payload uh, in a similar fashion as Tiano core payload. There is implementation made by U-Boot uh, team uh, with the goal of complying to ARM embedded based boot requirements and um, and making um, U-Boot. UFI compatible and and entering Qboot uh, into the embedded advanced embedded uh, certified world um, and and probably server world also. Um, so part of the specification was implemented and this is documented in the Qboot uh, documentation. There is Uroot, uh, which is Go user space with uh, with Linux bootloaders. It is used by Linux boot community. Uh, Linux boot is uh, just Linux plus Uroot plus so kernel plus user space, um, and it it implements some uh, UFI features to boot uh, boot UFI compatible operating systems. There is uh, Clover bootloader, which is uh, boot, uh, which is bootloader for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux, um, and also it re-implements partially some of the UFI specification for. Uh, for the operating system boot needs. Um, 